Centers for Medicare and Medicaid have put the Guam Memorial Hospital on notice that its participation in the Medicare program could be stopped, which could result in the loss of tens of millions of federal dollars annually. CMS representatives recently completed an extensive report on their five-day recertification survey of the hospital's acute care facility. The findings were alarming. Acting Hospital Administrator Ray Vega. They also cited us on standards. And this would have something to do with patients' rights, patients' confidentiality, infection control, patients' uh, restraints and seclusions. Mostly the violations in, involve uh, non-enforcement of policies and procedure. From patient rights regarding personal privacy and confidentiality and receiving care in a safe setting, expired medicine and medical supplies lying around the hospital, Concerns about medical staff credentialing to failure to properly administer drugs. The 78-page report details dozens of examples of violations the CMS team found during their visit to GMH. Standards regarding personal privacy of patients were not met as patients were seen sitting next to each other in the emergency room, two receiving IV fluids while another received respiratory treatment and another was given instructions for being discharged. CMS also noted that the standard for patients to receive care in a safe setting aren't being met either, specifically citing examples of expired catheters and medicine lying around in emergency carts, broken medical supplies, items not being adequately disinfected, and failure of staff to provide cardiac catheterization in a safe setting as equipment overheated in the middle of a procedure on a patient that could have created serious complications. Medical staff credentialing was also questioned as they reviewed one doctor's file that showed hospital privileges had not been suspended, but further review revealed that privileges were suspended on May 25, 2008 and reinstated a day later. This same unnamed doctor also had more than 100 reports that had either gone unsigned or lacked interpretation and were never finalized as required by medical staff bylaws. Concerns were also raised about the physical environment at the hospital. Vega admits these concerns were raised by the Joint Commission as well, but are already being addressed. The uh, wall hardening, the fire sprinkling system upgrade, and the wall penetration, those are the ongoing projects that we are quite confident that, that given that there's already a track record on how we're approaching the, pro the issues, uh, that uh, CMS would be receptive and would find our responses uh, responsive. Vega intends to respond to the CMS next week, Monday, while he's confident that GMH will not lose its certification to participate in Medicare. He admits the worst-case scenario would be that the hospital would have to continue providing medical care to Medicare recipients without getting reimbursed. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Mindy Egan.